Evolution of King Louis. The Jungle Book, 1967. Although the Disney adaptation is based on the Kipling stories, the character King Louis does not appear in Rudyard Kipling's original book as orangutans are not native to India in real life. Kipling also states in the original that the Bunderlog, the monkeys over which King Louis rules in the movie, have no effective leadership, let alone a king. In the book, Mowgli is abducted by a band of unidentified, leaderless Bunderlog monkeys. In this movie, King Louis appears, voiced by Louis Prima. After receiving word that a man-cub is being taken to the man-village, but wants to remain in the jungle, Louis sees this as an opportunity to finally succeed in his goal to learn the secret of man's red flower, and sends his bunderlog minions to retrieve him. The monkey minions kidnap the man-cub Mowgli and delivers him to Louis, who introduces himself as the boy's cousin, with intentions on granting Mowgli his wish to stay in the jungle, so long as the latter fulfills his end of the bargain. Unfortunately for Louis, Mowgli has no knowledge of how to create fire or what he is talking about. Louis believes Mowgli is just playing coy and continues to seek answers, but he is soon interrupted by the sudden appearance of scat singing, female orangutan. A distracted Louis becomes smitten and the two engage in a song and dance routine, though by the end of it, the female orangutan is revealed to be Baloo the bear in disguise, having infiltrated Louis's palace alongside the panther Bagheera to rescue Mowgli. A chase ensues, and in the midst of the chaos, a supporter is destroyed, forcing Louis to abandon Mowgli for the sake of upholding his damaged palace. Tailspin, 1990. In the Disney animated television series, Louis, voiced by Jim Cummings, is a fun-loving orangutan who wears a Hawaiian shirt, a straw hat, and a lei. He owns an island nightclub restaurant and hotel called Louis's Place, located near but outside the protection of the city of Cape Suzette. It also serves as a refueling station pit stop area for pilots. Louis is Baloo's best friend, unlike in the Jungle Book, but like in the later Jungle Cubs, but can be competitive with him when it comes to women, treasure hunting, along with business and monetary matters. His hold on the island is somewhat tenuous, even though through his own ingenuity and with the aid of his friends, he has managed to avoid losing it, in the episode Louis's Last Stand. The Jungle Book, 1994 a slightly different version of King Louis appears in Disney's live-action movie, portrayed by a trained Bornean orangutan named Lowell. He is once again an orangutan, leader of a group of monkeys that make their home in an abandoned human city. This version gets his name from King Louis XIV, whose crown he wears. Ka, a giant snake, appears to serve him. King Louis can summon him with a clap of his hands, even using him to ward off and kill intruders for his own amusement. He initially acts as a rival to Mowgli, but later warms up to him after seeing him defeat Ka. Louis later watches the battle between Mowgli and Captain William Boone, Carrie Elwes, applauding Mowgli for defeating Boone before sending Ka to kill Boone. Aladdin, 1994. In the episode, When Chaos Comes Calling, Genie turns into Baloo and flies in the sky of Agrabah with the Zingalo. In this scene, he also transforms Jasmine into Rebecca Cunningham, Abu into King Louis, and Iago into Kit Cloudkicker. Jungle Cubs, 1996. Louis, voiced by Jason Marsden in Season 1, and Cree Summer in Season 2, is a juvenile orangutan and Baloo's best friend. He is very physically active, spending a great deal of his time in trees and eating bananas. Prince Louis, as he is referred to in the show, wants to become king of the jungle one day, and when any man-made objects turn up he immediately shows great interest. Jim Cummings voices the character as an adult on three animated segments featured on the VHS releases of the series. Mickey's Magical Christmas, Snowed In at the House of Mouse, 2001. King Louis and Mowgli can be seen sitting at a table together. House of Mouse, 2001. In the episode Unplugged Club, King Louis was seen grabbing Ka, who was hanging above next to him, by the neck and shaking him like a rattle as Mickey Mouse went over to thank Zeus for using one of his lightning bolts to repower the club. In the episode, King Larry Swings In features an appearance by King Larry, an identical orangutan stated to be Louis's twin brother. The episode was actually originally supposed to star Louis, but had to be changed so as not to upset Gia Prima. The Jungle Book 2, 2003 Although King Louis is absent in the second movie, a shadow puppet of him can be seen at the very beginning of the movie, and Baloo implies that he left the jungle. Mickey Mouse, 2014 Louis, Flunky, and two of his monkey minions make a cameo appearance in the episode Mumbai Madness, 
Chasing After Mickey Mouse During the Travel Montage. The Jungle Book, 2016. Christopher Walken voiced King Louie in this Disney's live-action movie. This version is portrayed as more sinister and antagonistic than his original incarnation and is a gigantopithecus, an extinct species of great ape, because orangutans themselves are not native to India, but Gigantopithecus were. In an interview, Walken described King Louis as standing around 12 feet tall, and as charming as he is, intimidating when he wants to be. In the movie, Louis offers Mowgli protection from Shere Khan in exchange for the secret of making fire, which he and his fellow Bunderlog plan to use to take over the jungle. While accommodating and friendly at first, he quickly becomes more spiteful and impatient, refusing to believe Mowgli's protests that he does not know how to make fire. He is briefly distracted by the appearance of Balu, allowing Mowgli to be rescued by Bagheera. However, they are spotted by one of Louis's pigtailed macaque servants, and Louis orders the trio to be captured. Louis goes after Mowgli himself, trying to coerce him into staying by informing him of Akela's death. Mowgli refuses to believe this, and an infuriated Louis chases him through the temple, inadvertently destroying the pillar supporting his temple and causing it to collapse over him. His bunderlog starts digging through the rubble to find him. 